guys thank you so much for your visit to our family we need your support and love please press subscribe button and bell icon it's totally free good luck for your exams now enjoy hey guys uh, let's talk about the hollow man today aaj hollow man ke bare mein baat karte hain ये एक पोएम है टी एस एलियट के द्वारा और इसके बारे में हम बात करेंगे थीम्स के बारे में बात करेंगे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट थीम्स आल्सो एंड द जर्नी ऑफ द कैरेक्टर ऑफ द पोएम सो लेट्स गो हेड लेट्स सी सम यू नो द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन और बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पोएम आई वाज रीडिंग दिस पोएम एंड नाउ डेज आई एम डूइंग पोइट्री फॉर माई सेल्फ एंड आई मेक द सेम वीडियोज़ फॉर यू <clears throat> hope you you guys are enjoying the poems uh i have already made uh, three three videos on kamla das you can check out those and hopefully those will bring you some knowledge uh the hollow man 1925 is a poem by t s eliot its themes are like many eliot's poem ab hum eliot's ki agar poems ki baat kare to unme do cheeze bahut common hoti hain overlapping and fragmentary hoti hain do cheeze whenever you are talking about t s eliot you should remember about means about his poetry okay overlapping and fragmentary two things to describe his poetry but it is recognized to be the concern most with post world war first europe under the treaty of versailles which eliot despised okay the difficulty of hope and religious con- conversions and as some critics argue eliot's own failed marriages okay his uh, failed marriage uh, brought some ideas and then he is writing his love for prefrog and uh, so ev- everywhere you can uh, see his you know the impact of this failed marriage okay vivian hegg would eliot might have been having an affair with bertin restel they and that was the reason uh of the failed marriage the poem is divided into five parts you can uh, <coughs> write down this poem is divided into five parts panch part mein se divide kiya gaya consist of 98 lines it is quite a uh, long poem uh, as you know he has written also the baseline the one of the longest poem uh, which is the last for our probably the most quoted line of the 20th century poetry uh, writing in english okay we will be doing that later एक शॉर्ट स्नैप शॉट आप इसका ले सकते हैं यू कैन टेक स्नैप शॉट ऑफ दिस बाई टी एस इलियट द हॉलो मैन द पोइट्री एंड रिटर्न इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव कंट्री इंग्लैंड एंड लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश एंड नाइनटी एट लाइन्स वर देयर फाइव पार्ट यू कैन यू कैन मेक योर नोट्स जर्नी टू द कैरेक्टर इलियट्स कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ वन अंडर गो अ जर्नी इधर फिजिकल और स्परिचुअल और बोस द हॉलो मैन सीम्स टू फॉलो द other worldly journey of the spiritually dead uh, these hollow men have the realization humility and acknowledgement of their guilt and their status as broken lost souls hollow men fail to transform their emotions into actions conceptions to creation desire to fulfillment this awareness of the split uh, between thought and action coupled with their awareness of death's various kingdoms an acute diagnosis of their hollowness makes it hard for them to go forward and break through their spiritual sterility so you can see uh unhone kis cheez ke bare mein likh rahe hain he is always concerned with a uh, you know spiritual sterility of that time after world war first and as the poem and their journey ends they see the horror the horror that could sees in the heart of darkness so you can uh, see the references of uh, you know could sees in the heart of darkness ye ek reference aap yaad rakh sakte ho is uh, poem ke liye there is a complete breakdown of language prayer and the spirit spirit as the world ends not with a bang with a but a whimper themes and context eliot wrote that he produced the title the hollow man by combining the titles of the romance the hollow land by william morris so you can um, write down the notes okay hollow man and william uh, this hollow a hollow man this title has been taken from these two works by william morris the hollow land and the poem the broken man by rudyard kipling so it can be asked it is very important 
but it is impossible that this is one of Eliot's many constructed allusions. He has taken allusions. Uh, you can see a lot of allusions in um, the wasteland as well and uh, in T. S. Eliot's poetry. Aapko allusions jo hain, bahut sare milenge T. S. Eliot ke works mein. T. S. Eliot apni poems mein spirituality, allusions, fragmentary, ye sare words aapko yaad rakhne padenge agar aap T. S. Eliot ki poetry define kar rahe uh, and uh, that the title originates more transparently from Shakespeare's Julius Caesar or from the character Kutch in the Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. So, this is a reason you can see that the character of Kutch Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness work. Se liya gaya. Abhi aap logon ko tha. Who is referred to as Hollow Sham and Hollow of the, at the core. So, these are the references you should remember. And I should remember. That's why I write down in my diary. And you should write down in your diary. The two epigraphs to the poem. Mr. Kurtz, he dead. And a penny for the old guy. Are allusions to Conrad's character. And Guy uh, Focus. Attempted arsonist of the English House of Parliament. And his straw man effigy. So, yes, are you can see. That is burned each year of the Indian Kingdom on Guy focus night some critics read the poem as told from the three perspective perspectives each representing a phase of the passing of soul into one of the death's kingdom death's dream kingdom death's flight kingdom and death's other kingdom so Eliot uh, describes how we the living wish to be seen by those who have crossed with direct eyes not as lost so you these are the lines from the poem you can check out that okay there are some references uh, from dante's patris also okay and so here are the works he has uh, you know uh, given the allusions brought some allusions so i hope in this video it's enough and tomorrow we will be continuing this same video from this this chapter and hopefully you like it Okay, bye-bye. Take care. See you and good luck for exams. Write down everything in your diary.